Hi there, friends. I, I'm hearing from some women's ministry experts who are saying right now women cannot handle Bible study. Uh, in the midst of sickness, financial loss, job loss, and the frustrations of working from home, husbands working from home, kids being home from school and needing to be homeschool teachers, uh, this coronavirus has really turned our worlds upside down. And so all this all sense of normalcy and equilibrium, they've completely disappeared, completely vanished, and completely overwhelmed. How in the world could women do one more thing? But I'm hearing from a, a large group of women, and there was a, a pretty good-sized group last night who said, Carmen, we're falling apart without Bible study. Please help and uh, I, I think that makes complete sense. This past spring, when the COVID hit, we were able to finish our our spring Bible study via Zoom, and women loved it. Uh, okay, they didn't love it in the same way that they love meeting together and being together, but being in God's Word and gathering together on Zoom, it kept us grounded. It provided some sense of normalcy. Uh, it, it, for this past spring, we were looking at the lives of the patriarchs, where we see that God walks and talks, and uh, He is with people. People. Uh, God, we see God is with Abraham, He is with Isaac, He is with Jacob, and even He's with them even when they give way to fear and even when they mess up time and time again. And so it was this idea of God being with us that kept the wheels on the bus for, for those of us who were studying in the midst of, of the coronavirus hitting. I received over 21 pages of comments concerning the spring study, and here are here are just a handful. Uh, one woman said, God is faithful even when we fear, and He is with me. God is the God who sees. God is always faithful, even in the midst of chaos. Uh, a fourth one said, fear not, for God is with me. That was her takeaway. And the last one is, I am never alone. God loves me. So that kind of gives you an idea. As the floor came out from underneath our feet, women stood because they were grounded and rooted in God and in his promises. God is with us. Uh, this word with, it carries the idea of his being together with us, uh, beside us, even in chaos. But, and this is a pretty big but, in order to know God's presence, we have to spend time with him in his word. Uh, when we do, that's when God whispers his assurances, his promises to us. He, and he reminds us that his promises are certain. He says, look, he says, you are loved, you are valued, and you are never alone. So friends, normally I take a break from teaching in the summer, but this summer, it's just so unusual. It's so different. If you're feeling overwhelmed, you've completely lost all sense of a routine, uh, you long to be with God, you long to be, re uh, re long to be reminded that God is present with us, uh, then you, you are not alone. Uh, many women feel similar, and I am included in that. I feel similarly too. So I want to invite you to meet with God and to study together with me this summer. It's sort of like, I think it's going to sort of look like having a study buddy for the summer, someone to just help us uh, as we study together. It will help keep each other grounded and, and kind of keep each other accountable. It gives us a plan for the summer. My hope is that we can just simply walk side by side together in much the same way if you could come over and we could cook dinner together. I hope it looks that way for Bible study. The online format for summer is going to look very different from what we've done in the past. I feel like online ministry always, yeah, it always feels like an experiment to me. But we are experimenting for the sake of our moms. Moms, we saw you as the COVID virus hit. Whether you had little ones, whether you had teenagers, you tried so hard to gather with us on Zoom, but meeting live was not always convenient with the kids. 
months and we get that. So rather than, uh, we're just going to try this for the summer, rather than one large weekly teaching, we're going to post uh, short videos, maybe like 10 minute videos, four to five days a week that you can access anytime. I'll read the scripture aloud, I'll talk about it briefly, and I'll encourage you or invite you to uh, do your own observations and your own study. I can pretty much guarantee like this video, it will not be professional, it will not be a perfectly put together teaching lesson. Uh, rather, I simply want to invite you to come in and study with with me. The goal is that uh, you will walk with God and be in his word on a consistent basis. So our summer study, this is it. Uh, it's the Simply Bible Life of Joseph. It can be done whether or not you've done the other Genesis studies. It stands alone very nicely on itself or by itself. And I got to tell you, the message is so relevant for where we are today. Twice, Joseph is confined into a pit against his will. I call it kind of a pit of despair. So if you feel like you're in a pit of despair right now, I think you'll relate to Joseph and some questions that come to mind are, okay, where was God? Why did God allow this to happen? And how was how was Jacob transformed through these experiences? So there's a lot to see and a lot to learn. There's absolutely no registration required for this. All you need to do, you do need to grab a study guide today and maybe grab two of these and invite a friend, a sister, your mom, a daughter to join in this with you as well. Well, we'll have a link posted below on where you can access the book. We'll also post a link to the website simplybiblestudy.com. And there you can subscribe to a blog, you can subscribe to, or you can join, ask to join our private Facebook group that study that will be studying along with this. And you can also subscribe to our YouTube channel, the Simply Bible YouTube channel, where Nikki will keep keep all of the videos organized for you. So ladies, come at the end of the month. Let's, let's study together. Let's take time to be with God and enjoy his word together. I really hope you will join me for the summer experiment. Have a great rest of your day.